In those days, when again a great crowd had gathered and they had nothing to eat, Jesus called his disciples to him and said to them, I have compassion on the crowd because they have been with me now three days and have nothing to eat. And if I send them away hungry to their homes, they will faint on the way. And some of them have come from far away places. And his disciples answered him, How can one feed these people with bread here in this desolate place? And he asked them, How many loaves do you have? They said, Seven. And he directed the crowd to sit down on the ground. And he took the seven loaves, and having given thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to set before the people. And they set them before the crowd. And they had a few small fish. And having blessed them, he said that these also should be set before them. And they ate and were satisfied. And they took up the broken pieces left over, seven baskets full. And there were about 4,000 people. And he sent them away. And immediately he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the district of Dalmanutta. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, today my highlight is the Gospel. Feeding or nourishing someone means giving life to them. So says a proverb. Food is very, very essential to keep body and soul together. Starving people would not be able to work, listen or learn. Their immediate want is food. Jesus knows this very well. And so it was Gandhiji who said, if Jesus were to come to India, he has to come in the form of bread. In the Gospel today, we have heard how the Lord fed 4,000 people. One thing is very clear in the Gospel. God's activity is a joint venture. He counts on you and me. Very often, He waits for our response. Sometimes, like the disciples, we speculate or we give even directives to God to act. If we want to be a cooperator with God, then you must have trust in his power, in his compassion. And so, one who has trust and trust the compassion of God will act without any excuses. In our country today, there are so many people starving. So many people are in need of food. Yes, there are so many good people also feeding them. What about you and me? How do we look at the starving people around us? How much we share with them? Today's liturgy invites each one of us to look at our life in order that we become like Jesus and help the needy, especially the starving, who are suffering around us. May our coming together in the celebration of the Eucharist obtain for us God's blessings so that we become more sensitive to the needs of the others. Amen.